We're in Stara Zagora, Bulgaria at a bride market. This is the biggest annual celebration of the Roma clan, the Kalaiji. And here, young Kalaiji girls are sold by their families to suitors who bid on them. Are you asking me how much money I have? No, I have money. We're here to find out why these markets are happening and how the young brides feel about being sold off. The 18,000 strong Kalaiji clan is a subgroup of the Roma people who face constant exclusion across Europe. Based in the region of Thrace in central Bulgaria, they have drawn international attention for their controversial annual bride market. Women openly being sold like property in a European country in 2016 seems ludicrous. I want to explore how something that sounds so medieval can exist within modern society. I'm meeting with a Kalaiji family with two daughters. I think this is where they live. To see how they prepare for the bride market. <laughs> Pepe is 25 and Rossi 19. Milan, nice to meet you. How are you? I get a warm welcome from their mom, Vera. Then Pep offers to give me a tour of the house. I'm here. 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 Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two bedrooms to share between all eight of them, and the living room doubles up as a bedroom for the parents. <laughs> the family are very hospitable to have us in their home. No matter where you go in the world, the family photos always seem to come out. Vera was sold to their dad, Christo, at a bride market. I want to know how the family feels about the prospect of Peppa and Rossi also being sold in a couple of days. I'm taken aback by how matter of fact they all are about the possibility of being sold off. Saturday is the big bride market. Have you already found some suitable men for your daughters? <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Vera and her daughters don't have the same taste in men. Vera tells me there are strict rules surrounding Kalaiji girls' contact with guys. But Peppa and Rossi have found the loophole. So the girls are showing me the guys they talk to on social media. You're like a million times hotter. <laughs> There's this one boy I think is really cute right now. Mm, of course. No. <laughs> no. No. What kind of boys do you like? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he looks terrifying! <laughs> Jesus! You would kiss him? <laughs> Rossi has her eye on one guy in particular. <laughs> Will he be at the market? Da. So his parents want to ask for your hand? Da. Yeah. I ask if they're ever allowed to spend time alone with their potential future husbands. They may not have the freedoms that I take for granted. 
but they are allowed to spend big on clothes to impress the opposite sex. <laughs> but even with all these clothes, the girls want to hit the shops to make sure they turn heads on the big day. Нема, искам да е цялата пантери на самата рокля. When you go to the market, how important is the dress? What are the things that will make you get a higher price? They must not in Nike. Обувките да са стилни с роклята в тон. А някои, които са облечни по така, не ги харесват. Колкото сме по-възпитани, по-интелигентни, семейството ни е по-добро, толкова повече цената се вдига. Имаше някой момиче над 20 и казваха стара мама. Майко, виж ме са с бяло. Роклята ще бъде тази. Бялата рокличка ти мяса. Като бува е дантела и бува е дантела. Rossi's outfit costs almost an average Kalaiji weekly salary, but Vera considers it an investment into her daughter's future. Let's try this. Then it was my turn to try on some looks. Wow. I grabbed the opportunity to ask if they ever dream of a different life than that of a housewife. Bankier. Cosmetic frizzier. Does anything stand in the way for you to fulfill these dreams? Ами да, традицията. Образованието, традицията ни позволява и виждат ни е пък някакъв по-старовременен да пази традиция и така нататък. Няма да се съгласи, нали, да учеваме ние на работа. Той ще каже, че се стоя вкъщи, гледай се деца. Would you like to study and go to school? Да. Да, разбира се, кой не иска да се изпъдне мечтата. Only 10% of Bulgarian Roma women have secondary education and one in five are illiterate. With all the restrictions imposed on girls to preserve Kalaiji tradition, I want to find out what their social life is actually like. Отиваме при моите братовчетки. Сега ще ме запознае с тях. Това е Мима. Запознай се. Hi. Приятно ми е с Мима. Милен, най-с ми и. Това е Пепа. Hi. Това са близначките. Тя е по-малката сестричка. The twins Пепа and Мима are 19 and Vera only 16. I'm curious to know what the girls think is their most highly prized asset as a potential bride. I could never marry a guy if I haven't at least tried to sleep with him before. <laughs> 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 Do you think that's fair? No. How do you feel about the bride market? It becomes a scary thing. Because it's possible for some parents to give a girl to this girl that has more money, and to give the other one a little bit of a bad girl, and she loves him. Is that a fear? Yes. Do you think there are cases where the girls and the girls love the girls, but the girls are more than the girls? Ако момичето е по-черноко, а момчето, те са възможни, богати са родителите на момчето, и те няма да искат за снаха момичето. Ще искат друга по-красива. Ще искат по-красива. Бяло русно. С сини очи. Being married off to an older rich man is a legit fear. I want to chat to Peppa, who at 25 is already old in Kalaiji terms. The majority of girls marry between 13 and 20. Do you feel the pressure on you now at this market coming up that you have to find a husband? Da, se pak je složno zašto tuk sam živjela 25 godini. Ne znam da li ste mogla da svikna tam kad je to što ti da. Pa mi je mnogo trudno. A moj strah da ne zgriša koliko to se može gledam da izbira najdobrija varijant za mene. I haven't even married anyone yet and I'm 33 so I can't. Pepe is lucky as her parents are patient. 
and want her to find Mr. Wright. It's time to try some outfits for the bride market. What do you usually do when you get together? Govorim si, pravim snimki, kajto mi duva Facebook. Slušam je muzika, tancujem pri tudi tauto. Do you know Kim Kardashian, the queen of the selfies? I'll show you. So when you do that, that face, you do. The girls seem caught between conforming to a traditional culture, but also wanting to embrace modern life. Investing in two daughters at marrying age must be expensive. So I asked their father, Crystal, to tell me about the family business. Cheap goods from China are affecting the once valued Kalaiji trade. I'm starting to see why a high bride price has become even more important. It's the night before the bride market, and Vera's invited the extended family over for a party. <laughs> So I've been given a Kaliji makeover. It's a pretty interesting experience just how they celebrate. They dress up and they take lots of photos and they put it all up on Facebook to sort of show how much of a fun time they're having. But the reality is that they can't even leave their house and everyone around is just a family. It's the morning of the bride market. But before we go, I've arranged to meet a girl who's rebelling against her family's desire to sell her off. Why would they take you out from school so early? Да не се хванат някой гадже от училище, да ни вземат да избягат с него. Се отраквам и искам и по-модерен живот, искам и дискотека, барче, заведения, гадже, скола. Тия традиции да се женим за каледжи и да сме действени. Искам и да сме като другите момичета, като абсолютно където излизат. И затова нас спират, затварят на вкъщи и сам на пазар. Would you like to study and have you been able to go to school? Аз бих искала да продължа с ученето си. Един ден бизнес дама, уважаема, мечтата ми е тази, но някой ден. Но трябва да се откажа от семейството ми. Васи has a boyfriend who's not Kalaiji. I ask what would happen if her parents found out. Ще му женят на сила за кълъджа, след като аз няма да съм съгласна и няма да му пуснат вече да излизам с него и да се продават. Мисля, че това са пълни глупости и живелици. Добре! Напрегнати заради пазара. Да се направим много хубави. То трябва и аз и децата да изглеждаме добре, да сме харесани. What's considered beautiful? 
такова подобно в едни такива малки кучи. Помада. И се слага на лицето и стои много бяло. Хака. По принцип, по-възрастните хора, като видят някои по-бели момичета така, по този начин, много ги харесват. Ами за Пепа вече ми дадаха около 6, ама не съм ме дала. А за Росито ми дават много повече. Радвам се, като нас дават много пари, значи са хубави, харесаха и. Have the markets changed from when you were younger? Да, много. Да слушам майка си и баща си, където кажат те, това момче да взема. Ама за напред са заобичайни и живей. Вече съм готова, отивам на пазара. The bride market is held a 20-minute drive away in Stara Zagora, in a big parking lot where some 2,000 kalaiji were getting the party started. Most of the girls eligible to be bid on at the market are 13 to 20 years old. Току-що дойдох, но така като гледам, надявам се да се изкараме добре. Супер е! And the bidding has already begun. Брадър, измай, сестър, сестър! Сестър, сестър! Те са това момиче много пари искат. Кажи, издай! Много пари! Сто кили си, сто кили! Мъни, мъни! Мъни, мъни! The girls are getting loads of attention. The suitors are here. And everyone's checking each other out. Pepe and Rossi seem excited. It hits me that this is the one time a year they can hang out with so many guys. It's like the guy that you like, right? behind us. Yeah, he's not bad. He just blanks her. I wonder if he's put off by our crew. I'm down, because the one who's just the man that I get the hint and go off and check out the atmosphere. How do you flirt? I'm so spongy. 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 Първо трябва да е красива, трябва да е честна и най-важното да се обичаме. Ти ли 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 идея на бидинг на дърната? Ами не ми харесва много, ама такива са нашите традиции, няма как. Oh, okay. So, Jenny, she puts them in. You don't mind a strong woman? I want all my independence. I want to travel everywhere I want in the world. Nobody's ever asking me where I am, what I'm doing, or why. <laughs> as soon as I walked in, guys started surrounding me, asking how much I am. How much money? How money? I feel fundamentally uncomfortable with women being sold and bid on. So I want to speak to Vera to find out what would actually happen if a suitor bids on one of her daughters today. Speaking to Vera, it's apparent that the bride market is more like a massive speed dating event, rather than the forced marriage market that the media reports. Just before the market finishes, I managed to catch up with Rossi. Do you think that you'll find a future husband today? Yeah. <laughs>
The girls seem happy to have made it through the day without being sold off. Even Vera doesn't seem too bothered and accepts the tradition is not as rigid as it used to be. Is this market different to when you were younger? I can't forget that these girls are being raised to serve future husbands instead of pursuing their ambitions. But the bride market ended up being less disturbing than I feared it would be. Perhaps this is just a Kalaiji's way of hanging on to their traditions, their pride and identity in an ever-homogenized world.